Hi all, today I'm going to review the Hanko Espresso Coffee Maker from Kmart. I think that the finishing looks reasonable considering the price that I paid for it, although it does look a bit plasticky. Now it comes with various bits and pieces. This is for making two cups of coffee. This one is for making one cup of coffee. Now, one thing that I don't like about this is that the wand is a little bit too short and I find that this is quite difficult to clean. This attachment here is very easy to clean. You can just put it in the dishwasher. So because the wand is so short, I actually had to replace my large jug with a smaller one so that the wand could get in and froth the milk properly. And it doesn't actually come with a jug, so keep that in mind and make sure you buy a small jug when you're purchasing the unit. What you want to do is just twist the attachment into place and now you're ready to add the coffee. So we want to add the coffee just by scooping it in like so. Just a bit more. And then we just scrape off the excess. And I bring this into position and twist so that it's locked in. Just make sure that that is tight. A bit hard to do it with one hand while I'm filming. So we just power it up and we wait for this light here to go green. But now that the light is green, we're going to stick the coffee here and press the coffee button or espresso button. Well, there's no automatic sensor on it, so it doesn't stop automatically. You have to press the button. Once you're satisfied that you've got the right amount of coffee, just press the button to stop it. Now what you want to do is press this button here, which enables the steamer. And you can adjust this dial to throw off the milk. I usually wait till this goes Once orange. The steamer indicator is orange, we are good to go. So now we want to put the milk so that it's just inside, like so, and turn the nozzle. And I like to turn the nozzle all the way to the left, the dial, I should say. And we just continue to froth the milk. The wand itself should be just slightly into the milk to give you that nice froth. Once it's done a reason when I throw it, I like to then put the wand in the middle to make it more full. But now the key is to get the ear bubbles out, give it a swirl, hit it a few times. You can see now that there's hardly any air bubbles there and you should get that nice foamy layer um, like so now let's see how it tastes mmm quite good so in summary I think this is a really good machine it's cheap uh, it does a good job the only thing that I can recommend is get a small milk jug because the wand is quite short and also I feel that the wand itself can be hard to clean at times. Other than that, I think it's a good buy. I'll be doing a separate review of the Anko coffee grinder next time, so stay tuned. Remember to like and subscribe. Uh, if you've got any questions, feel free to comment and I will be happy to answer them for you.